Hi everyone, welcome to Belinda's DIYs. If this is your first time here, I want to welcome you. So it's been a minute that I have not done any videos, but I just decided to just take a break, a long break that is. And I just want to say thank you for all those of you that reached out to me and asking me if I was okay, y'all were concerned, and basically just also reaching out and saying, where are you? What are you doing? We miss you. That really meant a lot to me. And um, I just decided to take a long break. But I'm ready now to start crafting and just getting back into the swing of things. If you all want to know exactly why I've been gone for all this time, then please comment down below and let me know and I can do a totally separate video. But one of the reasons that I've been away is I started an Etsy shop. I'm really having fun with that. I'm creating some t-shirts, some caps, and just things like that. So if you're interested in what I'm selling, please go and just take a look at my shop. It's called Bell's Designs with Love. And I named it that way because I really love what I do and I do put in a lot of love in what I make. So I'm really proud of my shirts and caps that I'm doing and I'm really having fun with that. So please go and check out my shop. I'm gonna go ahead and link it down below in the description box. And please, if you can, please heart it because that also helps my shop. I would really appreciate that. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you two really pretty wall fall decor that you can make with Dollar Tree items. These are very easy to make and inexpensive. So I decided to make this for myself, so I said, why not share it with you all? So this will be my first video in a very long time, probably almost close to a year. So I'm excited to get back into the swing of things. So let's go ahead and get started with this Dollar Tree Fall Wall Decor. For these projects, I'm gonna be using this shovel and rake, and this can be found at Dollar Tree in the kids' toy department. And if you can't find any more at Dollar Tree, I'm sure they have some at Walmart and places like that that have still year-round gardening tools for kids. I'll also be using some spray paint by Rustolian, the 2X Ultra Cover, and this is in a flat black color. And also some ribbon in the Buffalo Check print. The first thing that I'm gonna do is take the shovel and rake outside and I'm gonna spray paint them with this spray paint. So I just wanna make sure that I spray paint all the little nooks and crannies on the shovel and rake and then I'm gonna turn them over to the other side and do the same thing. Once the paint is dry on both sides, I am gonna spray paint it with a clear coat. That way it can protect the paint and it will not chip off since it is plastic. For the shovel, I'm gonna be using these really pretty yellow mum flowers. Now these I got them at Dollar Tree. You can really use any flower of your choice. I just chose this one because I had it in my stash, but really any yellow flower would look really pretty against the black shovel. I'll be using this ribbon of Buffalo Check that I already had open, but Dollar Tree also carries the same exact print in this brand right here. And this is how my shovel and rake turned out after the paint had dried. The spray paint really gives them a nice high-end look, I think. I decided on the black color because I think it's pretty neutral, but you could also use white and that would also look nice. So what I'm gonna do first is just create a bow and right there I'm just measuring how wide I want my loop to be for my bow. And so I've looped it once and now I'm gonna loop it the second time and then I'll loop it one more time and then the last time. So I'll have a total of two loops on each side. And then I'll be pinching the center and I'll be holding it in place with a pipe cleaner and I'm just going to use a piece of that. And then to cover the pipe cleaner, I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece of that ribbon and then I'm just going to tie it in the center and I'll be hot gluing that. And now I'm just going to fluff out my bow. This is a very simple and easy way to make a pretty bow. 
And now to give my bow some tails, I'm gonna go ahead and just measure how long I want my ribbons to be or how long I want my tails to be and then I'll cut it and I'll twist it in the center and that way I can just attach it to the back of my bow. And I'll be attaching it by simply just adding a drop of hot glue and then placing my bow on top of my tails. And now to give the ends of the tails a more finished polished look, I'll go ahead and cut them in an angle. Next, I'll be hot gluing the bow right underneath the handle. Next, I'm gonna be adding the yellow flowers to the center of my bow. So I started by clipping off the flowers. So I started by separating the greenery from the yellow flower because I wanted to first lay down the greenery, hot glue that down, and then put the yellow flower on top. Now I put three of these flowers on there. Now for the rake, I'm going to be using these orange flowers. These are also from Dollar Tree. I apologize, I don't know what the name is since the tag is not on there but I will be using those and I'll also be using a bow that I already pre-assembled, so I'll be adding that to the rake. And for these orange flowers, I just hot glued them to the center of the bow, just like I did to the yellow flowers. Now I could have added the yellow flowers as well, that way the shovel and the rake would be a pair, but I wanted some variation, some different colors, so that's why I went with these orange flowers. But you can use, of course, any flowers of your choosing um, and whatever your color palette or your color scheme is in your home decor. I really just like these orange flowers and the yellow ones. I just think they really represent fall. Once I had added all the flowers to my bow, I went ahead and I hot glued it also onto my rake right underneath the handle, just like I did to the first one. it for this video I hope that you enjoyed it if you did please give me a big thumbs up and share I'd really appreciate it and also subscribe if you haven't yet so I'll see you on the next one bye bye and God bless